What are those voices? my entire life. I'm trapped in here. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. dreams again I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box in her will Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease if the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness I'll search for one myself you said and in that search it seems you lost yourself I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. Time to gather my things. Hmm. I think I've overpacked. What was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? It's not exactly a clawfoot tub, but you can't always get what you want. I'm definitely going to miss this bed. Falling asleep to the ship's rocking was delightful. I'd always dreamed of traveling. I was not the same without you, Harry. Merveille de Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Seas, I think. Ah, the amazing adventures of Nora Everhart. Art teacher. Oh, I'd better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. love this song. I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. Oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. Now it's open. This strange and sharp relic came in the package I received at home. Harry Everhart, my husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it, and some enigmatic instructions. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up.
After spending so much time reading this book, I think I've learned a thing or two about Polynesian culture. What was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. Lower the motorboat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there now. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Well, here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you. But suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, Opal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refused to even name. Everything is familiar. It's so familiar. As impossible as that may sound, is this the island I dreamed about? This, this can't be a coincidence. idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? There's definitely something strange about this place. See if I can find any trace of you around here. I know it's just resonance, but I do love listening to the sea in them. A tent. So somebody was on this island recently. Well, that's a Vivo. A flute that the Polynesians play with their nose. I won't be playing that. A miniature va'a. A Polynesian outrigger canoe. Beautifully crafted, too. This machete is completely worn down. The blade is dull. A note written in French. I only understand two words, ill and mort, island and death. It must be a warning about the dangers of the island. Good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. It looks like it opens from the other side.
These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. Peaceful, but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. What a lovely flower offering. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? Well, that did something. Hmm, something's missing here. A carving tool. This box. CW. Those are the initials on the brass key. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. Well, look what's hidden here. It 
works. This may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. Is that... Harry? Harry, you were here. You were here and I found you, damn it. Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journal. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. But a Polynesian version. Ah, oh, it's been years since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. I can feel the air is denser here in this mangrove swamp. Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But... I have to do it with you, old pal. This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol inside it. A bone fish hook. Oh my, this is so beautiful. <laughs> what were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets.
A shortcut. That's convenient. There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this urn. I'll draw the symbol in my journal. Polynesian chieftains make their head ornaments with lorikeet feathers. What a lovely souvenir.